शो यस शो यस 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 वेलकम टू द शो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम साइरस सावकर एंड दिस इज ब्रेन वैगन इन एसोसिएशन विद बेवरेज पार्टनर ओएसिस एंड लैकनो एसोसिएट स्पॉन्सर वेस्टर्न यूनियन नाउ दिस इज द शो वेयर थ्री टीम्स कंपीट अगेंस्ट ईच अदर थ्रू थ्री राउंड्स ऑफ गेम्स दैट विल फेच देम पॉइंट्स एंड ऑल द टीम्स गेट अ सुपर कूल प्राइजेस टू टेक होम सो इट्स ओनली फन फॉर एवरीवन वेलकम टू द शो गाइस In this show, we have three rounds. Round one will be an audio-visual round brought to you by Lacknow. This round consists of games that will test how well you can identify what you see or hear. Round two is a memory round, and these games are made to test how well you can remember and recall things that you can see. And round three will be rapid fire. We have ten questions that will be asked, and the team will hit the buzzer and give me the answer. Best of luck, teams. Now that we know how Brain Wagon works, let's meet our three teams. Welcome a uh, team pink this is uh, Kanak and of course Mr Jayesh how are you both doing very good well welcome to the show you guys love driving i hear exactly tell me about your driving adventures what's the furthest you guys have gone always uh, we are driving we are living from uh, dubai approximately 2 th- uh, hours uh, far and always driving dubai abu dhabi and sometimes uh, far from uh, western regions as well Wow, but there's something very beautiful about looking at the world while moving through a car, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. It's, it's very, very beautiful. Is uh, any form of quizzing fun for you? Yes. Kanak, sure. is it fun? Yes. I feel like Kanak's all ready. She's staying super focused. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to expel too much energy or anything. I just, I want to answer the questions correctly. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Team B, welcome to the show. We have Garfield and Gabriella. You guys sound like a a boy boy band or a music uh, uh, you know duo. How's it going? How are you feeling? Great. Great. Lovely. Okay, Garfield, I love your name. Thank you. Are you like Garfield or are you not like Garfield? A bit, of huh? bit of both. Bit of both. Bit of both. Which parts are like Garfield? The couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best man. <laughs> That's the best. I could uh, spend hours just lying and staring at random objects. and into nothingness you have to live What up to your name huh you have to live up to your name you have to live up to your name man you were stuck with it and your who named you garfield my dad actually my late dad yes is he, he garfield fan yeah, so garfield sobers as a cricketer oh and i'm thinking the cat yeah. <laughs> oh man i turned out to be the cat <laughs> <laughs> dude i love the cat too it's one of my favorite okay tell me a little bit about yourself gabriella what do you love doing the most i love drawing what do you like drawing Like anything that um, I find that looks really nice and that I feel that I can draw it or change it up in my own way. And I heard that you also like French. Yes. Are you I learning like... French? Yeah, I'm learning French in school. Well, give us a few lines. <laughs> Have you been to France? Yeah. No. Yeah. We were thinking like, about yeah. it. Like, you, how can you think? Either you've been, or you haven't been, or you've half been. No, there's a there's a thing to it because. Uh, when we went to France, my, my my wife was pregnant with us, so she said I was to in France. <laughs> <laughs> the Gaffy. I want to go though. Huh? I want to go though. Yeah, that's a trick question. That should be in a quiz. Yes. Sir. Have you been or have you not been? Well, you have been, but you don't know much about it. <laughs> well, we're gonna send you back to France pretty soon. You can have a blast there. Till then, brush up on your French and welcome to the show. <laughs> and Team C, we have a niece and an aunt. So Fatima, your uh, Maryam's aunt, yes. right? You guys have a lot of fun together. Yes. But but Fatima, you are known to scare your niece. Yes. <laughs> This is something you enjoy. I love doing that. You like scaring all kinds of people. I I love scaring kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the most fun thing I've heard. Yes. And why only as a kid also were you like this? He actually yes, because my my dad used to scare me a lot, and we used to play this game. And uh, and you know kids when in a funny way kids when they get scared they they look fantastic they look cute. <laughs> you are walking such a thin line <laughs> because you are like enjoying this stuff. But I know exactly what you are talking about. All right, so Mariam, how badly has your aunt scared you till now? Ah, uh, she scared me once. We had a Halloween party, uh, and my mom hosted it. So she became a nun, and I was in my room. I was playing with my friends. And then she appears, and I scream so loud, the whole house had an echo of scream. As in the nun, there's a horror film called yes, the nun. Yes, the nun. So what you put in work into you put actually you do rehearsals. No, I was like pretty much dressed like Valak, <laughs> and I had done a lot of homework. Yeah, that, yeah. Please show me the walk. Yeah, I do. I have a video. I have a couple of pictures. Oh, you do? Boomerangs, yes. Oh man, do you have a, a boomerang of you as the nun? Yes. Fa 
Fatima, I just saw an image of you as the nun. I must say that was petrifying. A month of my sleep has gone. Well done. You have a great career in scaring people. Thank you. Anyway, guys, when you're doing the buzzer round, make sure she gets first rights on it or first dibs on it. Otherwise, Otherwise she will be afraid. Sir, while you're driving, <laughs> the nun, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. Thank you all so much for being here. We are going to have a lot of fun. No scares here. So give yourselves a round of applause. Here are the rules for round one. In round number one, each team will be asked questions from various different genres. The first up will be Emoji Movie. Now, they will be shown two movie names in the form of emojis and they have to find the name of that movie. Their only clue is that both these movies are acted by the same actor. If they get both correct, they get 10 points. If they get one correct, they get five points. There is no negative marking in this round. The next game in round number one is called Odd One Out. It's as easy as the name sounds. You have four options that will be shown to them on screen and they will have to pick the Odd One Out. Five points if they name the Odd One Out and 10 points if they name the odd one out and give me the reason why. The next game in round number one is called Living Sound. There will be four sound clips played back to back and they have to identify the sound made by the living thing. If they identify it correctly, they get 10 points. The next one is identify the logo. The three teams will be shown a logo component on screen and they will have to guess the company that the logo belongs to. The right guess will fetch them 10 points. Now teams, you know the rules. Are you ready for round number one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's jump right into it. The first round is the emoji round. Here is your question. Remember, the thing common to these emojis is that it's a film. They're both feature films and have the same actor. Team B. The, the second one. Okay. I think it's Silent Night. Silent Night. No, that is incorrect. And the first? Film Ne Bache. No, not Bache. No, I'm so sorry. The first one is Rang De Basanti. And the second one is Secret Superstar. Yeah, Amir Khan is the common one there. Well done, guys. We tried. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, the next question in round number one is an audio one. You're going to hear some sounds and you have to tell me what is the sound of the living being and name the being. Okay, here goes. Okay, A, you press the buzzer first and it is a... Cook. A cuckoo? Cuckoo bird. A cuckoo bird is incorrect, sir. Yes, you can try A rooster. A rooster, that's right. It is a rooster, sir. It is a rooster, not a cuckoo bird. But hey, I don't know. Maybe you met a couple of cuckoo birds making this sound. You never know in life and nature. And now with that, uh, you won't get any points, but there's no negative marking on this. We move to our next question in round number one. This one is called Odd One Out. We're going to show you a visual and you have to tell me which one is the odd one out and why. Team B. I think fry because the other three are animals. There's a cup, duckling and ping pong. But the other three fry. are apples? No, no, animals. Animals, I got worried. I'm like, what are you eating? What's this diet? Well, no, that is not true. That is not true. The correct answer is pink fong. You see, pink fong is a South Korean educational company that came out with the baby shark song. And others, that is why we call baby tiger, baby fish, baby duck. And then we have pink fong. Tricky one, huh? <laughs> not easy. Tricky one. The I next on one food. is not as tricky, or is it? The next one's called the logo game. We're going to show you two logos. And you guys have to tell me which brand or company these logos belong to. Here goes. Team A. BMW. That is correct. Brandon uh, Sai. BMW Come on, you know and this. Mountain. Mountain, sir. What? That, that is the logo, sir. What is the company? Okay, BMW. That is correct. The second one. You want to try? Toblerone. Toblerone is the correct answer. A round of applause. Round number one was lots of fun, but the scoring hasn't been great till now. The end of round number one here, your scores. Team A, you've got five points. You got BMW correct. Team B, zero at this point in time. And Team C, you're also at zero points. So you guys are in a wonderful tie. But it's round number one. 
The scoring is about to happen as we proceed to the other rounds. Best of luck, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause because we are going to enter our next round. But before that, we're going to take a short little break and return on Brain Wagon Season 2. Welcome back guys, I'm Saris Saukar and you're watching Brain Wagon Season 2 in association with beverage partner Oasis and Lacno and the associate sponsor is Western Union. Now I remember my mom used to send me to go get these grocery items and then I used to get there and realize I've already forgotten my list at home. I used to make up my own items, it used to all go awfully wrong and I've realized that without the list I have zero memory and memory has always been a problem. But what I've done is this grocery situation and a memory problem has now been turned into a game. And I can't play it because I'm going to be bad at it, but you guys are. Here's your game, it's called Memorize the List. Now here's what happens. The three teams will be shown a list of 20 items on the screen for 60 seconds, which they will attempt to remember after the 60 seconds are up. Once the 60 seconds are up, they will be shown two baskets. Now one will be empty and the other will be filled with various items, out of which they need to identify the items that they saw on the list, pick those items up and put them in this empty basket. The team with the highest number of correct items will be given 20 points. The team with the next highest gets 15 points and the least gets 10 points. I love this game. It changes the scores plus everyone wins. Best of luck guys. Ready for your list? Yeah. Yes. Okay, get your super memory vision on. Stare at that. Here's your list. Let your mind be a photocopy machine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and woo! No talking, so I don't break your concentration. I'm now going to get in the basket from which you have to choose your items. All right, teams, stay focused. Your time starts now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Stop! Whoa, teams! Whoa! We're gonna check your memory now. We're gonna see how well you replicate stuff. You are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Garfield has decided to exchange the boxes, and in his excitement, pressed the buzzer non-stop. Alright guys, we're going to now see how many items you got correct in that box of yours. While we're doing the counting, I've got another fun game for you. No points, but fun. This game's called What's in the Box. I don't know what's in the box. I'm going to look at what's in the box and tell you guys. And you guys have to press the buzzer and decide if I'm lying or telling the truth. Okay. Uh, yes. Right. They are looking so mistrustfully at me already. <laughs> Best of luck guys. Best of luck. Ha <laughs> ha 
Team B, even though you have no faith in me, <laughs> you got seven items correct and you get 15 points. <laughs> and Team C, I have made fun of you for no reason. I have newfound faith in you both. Nine items correct and Yay! 20 points. <laughs> well done, Team A, B, and C. You guys have done super well. And now I'm going to give you the total scores to now. We've played two rounds. Here are the final scores to now. Team A, you're at 15 points. Team B, you're also at 15 points. And the Team C, you are in the Super lead with 20 points. Okie dokie, we just finished the scoring. We know where we are. Remember, we have one more round. One more round to go, which is going to be the big decider. We're going to take a short little break and when we come back, we will play the rapid fire round. Welcome back, I'm Cyrus and it's Brain Wagon Season 2 in association with Beverage Partner Oasis and Lacknaw. The associate sponsor is Western Union. Now we're getting ready to play the final round and this round has the ability to turn this whole game around. Let's take a look at the rules. Round 3 is our rapid fire round. Now at this point in the show, if any of our teams happen to be in need of some points to boost their ranking in the game, then this is the round where they have to give it all they have because this is the rapid fire round. We have 10 questions that will be asked and the team that hits the buzzer first after the question has been asked will get a chance to give the answer. And if the answer is correct, they stand to earn 10 points. If they answer incorrectly or fail to answer, they also stand to lose minus five points. Are you ready teams? Yes. yes. Remember, hand on the buzzer. I finish my question, you press the buzzer, you give me the correct answer, I give you points. It's a pretty good deal. Best of luck, everyone. Here is your first question. Who was the first American president? Mm. Yes, Team C. Abraham Lincoln. That is incorrect. It's George Washington. Do coconut trees grow better in cold or warm climates? Mm. Team C. Warm climate. That is correct. In which country was Nelson Mandela born? Mm. Team B. South Africa. That is correct. Which fast food franchise sells the famous burger called? Mm. Mac. Oh, you pressed the buzzer before I finished the question. You said Mac and that is incorrect. Here is my question once again, which you did not let me finish. Which fast food franchise sells the famous burger called the Whopper? What are you saying? How do you not know this? The answer is Burger King. The rapid release of pressure between tectonic plates results in which natural calamity? C. Earthquake. Correct. When a coin is dropped in a glass of water, it will float. True or false? True. That is incorrect. It's false. Which country is also known as Persia? Team C. Iran. Correct. What is the center of a target in archery called? Team B. Bullseye. Correct. The Emirates Mars mission is set to launch in which year? 2020. That is correct. 
Agent 007 feature in many movies dating back to 1962 and is also known as James Bond. James Bond? That is correct. And that wraps this rapid fire round. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Stressful, man. All right, you want to know the scores of this round? Yeah. Here are your scores for this rapid fire. Team A did splendidly well, but they got zero points. They had fun though. Give them a round of applause, Team A. <laughs> team B, this was a big one for you. You got 40 points in the rapid fire round. And Team C, you scored 15 points. Well done. And now it's time to find out who the winner of this episode's brain wagon is. You ready to find out? Yeah. All right. Team A, you finished at 15 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Team C, you're second with 35 points. Which gives us the grand winner, which is Team B at 55 points. Congratulations. Well done, Team B. You are our grand winner. Do you want to know your prize? Yes, please. Okay, Team B, you are taking home a 55-inch 4K UHD Smart TV. Woo! But not to worry, Team C, you are number two in this game and do not worry because we have a wonderful prize for you. You win four tickets to Bollywood Parks Dubai, the first and the only theme park showcasing Bollywood movie-based rides and shows. And you also get a lovely hamper of chocolates and goodies made by me. Wow. <laughs> and Team A, how can I forget you? You guys are my favorites, man. I had so much fun playing with you guys. I've made a beautiful so hamper of chocolates and goodies for you guys too. Thank you. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this episode of Brain Wagon Season 2. See you again next episode where we have different teams and some more interesting and exciting games. Until then, I'm Sarah Saukar. On behalf of my champs today, take care, look after yourselves and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Team B, our winners. Who is that? Your imaginary friend. Congratulations. Thank you so Congratulations. Thank you. Guys, this is for you. Here you go. <laughs> Team C! Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Proud of you both. Team A! <laughs> Get a clap! Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you. sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you so champ. Thank you. Who wants to hold the chocolates? Both of us. Both of you. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Do the dab, do the dab, do the dab. All right, all right. Do it again, do it again. <laughs>